prepare a slide with a map showing the locations of all our offices in Europe. If we click on the map, let's do it. The very next thing you will see is the new Excel spreadsheet which will be opened. Only regions with the data. And when I click on it, let's see the changes. So, and I'm going to change it like, I don't know, to this blue, for example. And here is the final result. So let's take a look at here. The idea is the same. Hi there, my name is Alex and I'm here to assist you with the PowerPoint. Did you know that the PowerPoint allows you to work with a map of any country or countries, insert it on the slide and to add some more details, for example, the details about your offices in different countries? No? Then this video is for you. Well, let's take a look at the case. Actually, I had a call with my colleague just 10 minutes ago and he asked me to do some work in the PowerPoint, which is related to maps. Let's take a look. Hi Alexei, I can do. you prepare a slide with a map showing the locations of all our offices in Europe? Yeah. Make sure to include the number of employees at each site. Mm -hmm. Prioritize Germany and France, yeah. then cover Italy and the UK. Right. Thanks. As you have seen, this task is quite typical and you may face it during your work at the companies or in your own business. You would just need to add the details about your offices in different countries and to add the number of employees or some other details like revenue, like profit or something and you will need to present it on the map. So let's dive into the PowerPoint and I will show you how to do it quick and easy. So here we are in the PowerPoint and let's dive in and try to take a look at what we can do. So once again, we have a task to visualize on the map the location of our offices in four countries in Germany, France, Italy and the United Kingdom. And as well, we have to add the amount of people for these offices. So uh, the best way to do it is, of course, to add the map on the slide. So how it is possible? Basically, it's quite easy. So we have to go to the insert tab and find there the charts. In the charts section, where you usually add some diagrams, you should see the maps. If we click on the map, let's do it. The very next thing you will see is the new Excel spreadsheet, which will be opened. And here you will see some pre-filled countries and the numbers. So what the numbers do? They are basically responsible for the color. So the bigger the number, the brighter the color of the country. Let's take a look at the map uh, which we should have on the slide. This is kind of pre-filled, let's say stock data. And here uh, is the map. Yeah, th that is what we see on the map uh, because we just inserted it and we have some pre-filled info. Okay, but I need only four countries like here, Germany, France, Italy, and UK once again. I don't need the map of the whole world. And okay, let's try to make something with it. So uh, first of all, I go to the Excel. I open this map and yeah, as I only need four countries, I will delete these. Okay, I'll click on delete. Uh, yeah, I have four countries, but these are not four countries I actually need. Let's rename them uh, to Germany, France, Italy and UK. Okay, here they are and the data, well, it's not really important because anyway, I will uh, change the color of the countries. So let's keep it. Okay, I can close this uh, spreadsheet and we should go to the PowerPoint slide. And here's the update. Yeah, indeed, I see only four countries. Uh, which are in color here. Let's check. Okay, this is France, UK, Germany and Italy, right? But I see the other countries in Europe as well. They are not in any color. They are just like gray, but still they are. And I don't want to really see them. And I don't want to see them because, okay, we're just focusing on these countries. And this is like additional info, which I don't need. So how can I fix it? Uh, well, it's also pretty easy. We have to go here, uh, right click on the chart, go to the format data series. And here in the last tab, you will see like field map. Uh, well, map projection, we will talk about it later, but basically it is not really changing uh, a lot. And the point we really need to focus on is the map area, because here we have automatic but we should switch to only regions with the data. So again, map area 
and we go here and we choose this one only regions with the data and when I click on it let's see the changes so now I only see the four countries we need to focus on okay I will remove the chart title right I will remove the legends okay I cannot remove this uh, wording like powered by Bing but um, as for now it is kind of a chart so yeah it's the map but it works like the charts like pie charts bar charts anyway and I can like expand it I can make it smaller bigger higher lower and the quality is not reduced but if I for example copy it and paste as an image I will be able to exclude this wording but it will be a picture and if I'm going to do like this the quality will be reduced significantly so as for now let's just keep it as a map uh, as an editable map with editable size right okay we got the map we got the countries uh, I would really love to change the color but let's keep it as for now uh, what we need to do next so I checked the email from my colleague and here's the data about the amount of people in the offices so I got 900 for Germany 700 for France 1100 for Italy and 2000 for UK okay The next thing we should do is to add the data and yes you can do it automatically you can click on the map do the right click and click on the add data labels and you will see these numbers we have in the spreadsheet pre-filled but this is not we really want to see we want to see at least the numbers of uh, our employees we can go to the excel sheet change the pre-filled numbers to this but this is not the approach i would like to show you uh, because indeed it is easy but it's not really beautiful what, what do i mean by this is to add this kind of the circles here uh, don't forget to hold the shift to draw a perfect circle if i'm not holding the shift i will have like like this this is not the circle this is not the thing uh, that i really want to see if i'm not holding the shift but if i do i'm holding the shift and i will put it here like this and i will put it on the front here i will uh change the outline to white to i've changed the outline to white and i will also make it more like i will increase the weight of this outline and let's make it a little bit more smaller because it's kind of uh it is more about the design so it's not really functional so i uh, i've just made it a little bit smaller and as i didn't know about the colors of each country as for now i just keep it uh with the same color but obviously i would have to change it and this color uh, inside the circle will be changed i will still keep the white outline but yeah i will change the color okay we will have just four four points for each country and then i should somehow to add the info about okay this is france for france we have 700 people in our offices and um, this can be done by adding kind of the container so if you choose this um, rectangle rectangle here and draw it like this and you increase uh, the you will go to the zoom and you will see this uh, like yellow square click on it and you just move it right or left you will be able to make the round corners if I go to the right too much I will have like this figure and this figure if I go to the left and obviously I would need something like in the middle okay let's keep it um, yeah this will be uh, I don't have any feeling for this shape but let's say I would like to have maybe gray outline and not really mm, not really bold I will decrease the weight like this and here I would like to write like okay this is France I have 700 for it and I will try to make it like this okay we have 700 so i will reduce the size because 18 is too much okay and i this this is for the france right okay this is for the france okay i will also reduce the size of uh, the 
country name. In general, it would look like this. Okay, we have 700 for France and we will add the info for other countries like for UK, for Italy and for Germany. Right, but the next thing I would also like to add here. Okay, we will have the map, but we would also need to add some other info. For example, the title, uh, for example, some other data. And I will show you the example. Uh, so my colleague just told me about the visualization of the offices and the people in there, but I will add other details and I will show you how to visualize it. But my idea is to basically to put it in the container because as for now, yeah, we can keep it like this, but maybe you have heard about Banta Grid technique. The Banta Grid is basically about putting the content in different containers. Just uh, a quick check how we can change the color of uh, the countries. For example, I have chosen the Germany, right? I just do a right click. I go to the format data point, And here I have the general menu like fill. And I'm going to change it like, I don't know, to this blue, for example. And yeah, that's the thing. Just change the color and I will try to pick the color for each country uh, to make it more beautiful, to add the title, add the data here. And I will show you the final result. But basically, that's all and even more you should know about the maps and PowerPoint to make uh, the slides with the map. And here is the final result. So let's take a look at here. The idea is the same. Like I said here, we see the info about the total amount of employees. Here we have the data about the case streams like IT and PR. I have some data here, but you may not have it. You may have the different data. It's just the example of uh, the content on the slide. Like uh, we have the map here on the right. In, a, in the container here, we have some details. Uh, you may have more details. You may have less details. Um, I don't think that the uh, container with the map, which will be like uh, on the whole slide, will look good. But I don't know. I think you should emphasize something more. But maybe you can keep it like this to add here the title and to add some, I don't know, bullet points. Uh, this is up to you. This is just about the um, how you put the content on the slide. But the idea is like this. So I've changed the color of the countries. I've added details about the amount of people in each country uh, in the offices. I've added the title of each container. So if you remove the title of the container, it will look a little bit like empty. So generally I add the titles for each container. Uh, here is some general wording. It will not be visible at first, just some additional info, but still, uh, if I remove it, it's a little bit empty. Uh, and here it is the title, like we have uh, the info that our offices are expanding. And so this, this title is all about the expansion. By the way, Joe is about to connect in Zoom with his comments regarding our map, and he was extremely happy in the email regarding our solution. So let's take a look at what he says about it. Thank you very much, Alexei. Now I see our offices and the amount of people on the map. Looks great and it is super easy to understand. I thought you will use the table or just the bullet points, but this looks like perfect decision. Thanks. So yeah, that basically that's it. So we have added the map. We have added the data, we have changed the map so we could see only the countries where we have the info. I've put it in the containers, I've added the numbers, I've added the country name, uh, so changed the colors, added the containers, so it's the gradient feel here. Uh, and yeah, that's it. So I hope this video is helpful for you. I tried to explain it in details and maybe it's even too much. But I would really appreciate if you leave the comment, hit the like or subscribe button if you liked it. And let me know about your questions. I will try to assist you uh, as fast as I can. Thank you very much for watching. See you later and in different videos. Bye.